In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can take a single pad sample loaded into Simpler and convert it into a detuned, multi voiced, emulated vintage synth preset with full envelope control over the level, frequencies, and pitch. Okay, so starting off with our pad sample, then, which I've just got loaded into Simpler. All I'll do is change the start position so it's at this point where it's fully sustained. I'll add a slight attack so it, we don't have that click at the beginning. And I'm also going to drag out the release so it doesn't fade away so quickly when I let go of notes. And now I'm going to load Simpler into a rack by selecting it and hitting Command G, clicking to show the chains, and I'm just going to duplicate this out a few times by hitting Command D. And with each one now, I'm going to select it, detune it slightly in one direction, and pan it by a similar amount. Select the next one, go a little bit further in that direction. And then for the last two, I'll just go the other way. Okay. Before I play a note though, because it's going to be really loud because I've got quite a few chains stacked up there, I'm just going to go to my audio effects and add utility to the track. Then if I turn down the gain, You can hear our sample is sounding a lot wider and with a lot more presence now. One way to get more control over this level though is to go to our Max for Live MIDI effects and add the envelope to the track. This gives you a full ADSR that you can then map to whatever parameters you like on the track. So for example, I could map it to the gain now to have an ADSR envelope for all of our chains here. So it's a really useful way of very quickly getting control over the level. All I have to do is click map and then click on gain. And I'll set the envelope to full sustain as it's a good way of finding out exactly what the envelope's doing. But I'm going to bring this amount down so it doesn't jump right up to the top, deafen us all again. slowly bring it up until it's got uh, the right kind of volume. And then I can play around with these ADSR parameters below, like the attack, maybe create a fade in. Maybe add a fade out with the release as well. And as well as level, we might want to use an envelope to shape the frequencies in the sound. So for example, I'll first just minimize the rack, set it to full sustain for a minute with no release. And I'll add one of the regular MIDI effects as well, this chord effect, Eternal Sunshine. A little bit loud there, let's just bring it down. So now just by playing a single note, I've got a really rich and pleasant sounding chord. All I'm going to do is add auto filter to the track now and then add, an, add another envelope and map this one to the filter frequency. Once again, I can bring the sustain up to the top. So with it mapped to my filter frequency now, I can then adjust the ADSR controls to create whatever effects I want. Obviously auto filter does already have its envelope controls here, but the attack and release on its own can be a bit limiting. And also, as it's responding to the amplitude, um, sometimes it can get a bit confused by the level going up and down, which can create some envelope effects you don't want. So it's sometimes hard to create a nice, smooth, long sweep, which is what I'm after this time. So I'm going to increase the attack here. Maybe bring the sustain down a bit and then lengthen the decay so we get a nice sweep up and down. 
Yeah, and you're not just limited to one target here. So if I click in the top corner, you have loads on offer. So for example, I could add another effect like maybe frequency shifter. And then I could maybe create a sort of sweep up and down in pitch by modulating the fine dial here. Now you're going to set it up to 50%. So only goes up to halfway. And bring up the lower level so it's not quite as drastic. Maybe go a little higher. So yeah, some kind of nice, slightly wonky pitch shifting effects there as well. So you can see how useful these envelope effects are for allowing you to create all sorts of different effects with devices on MIDI tracks in live. Essentially turning one sample loaded into Simpler into a sort of emulated synth preset with multiple unison voicing and full envelope modulation of level and frequency. So hopefully that's given you some useful and inspiring tips there. For more sampling techniques, you might want to check out my two latest courses, The Art of Sampling, which is a beginner's guide, or slightly more advanced creative sampling techniques, where I use Ableton's factory samplers to build all of the parts in a glitch electronica track. Hopefully, I'll see you there.